Top 0.1% Valorant player tries CSGO. Hi, my name is Feral, and I'm a part of the top 0.1% in Valorant. I may not be the greatest, but I'm overall a pretty solid. What is that equal to in uh, CSGO? Gold Nova? player so today i was curious to know what would happen if i started playing csgo since usually it's csgo players trying out valorant so yeah here's me trying out csgo competitive and giving you my honest opinions That's on it. the game as a valorant player a really nice change i found was that you could actually pick maps in csgo ah! <laughs> valorant can't choose oh my god chat imagine you get thrown into the hot water and you have to play a map that you don't like and then if you leave the game right you get banned or Mm -mm. Go, which I'll admit is a really good feature that Valorant does not have. I did I find the settings given. a little overwhelming because I was put in front of so much information. We did manage to change all the necessary things and we went straight into our first game. That is fair. There is a lot of junk. I as well sometimes get uh, too overwhelmed with the settings. I have to keep it real. And especially things hidden behind the console, like a jump throw bind that you only have to that you have to know about by browsing forums and stuff, or people tell you, yo, you need to have a jump throw bind for this. What is a jump throw bind? Hello? Like, jump plus throw, and that will change with CS2. Actually, good change. And instantly, Why another thing that on? we don't have in Valorant, a little warm-up while we wait for players to load in. So it was a great place for me to get a feel of the weapons in this game. The CSGO shop is also pretty different and a little bit confusing at the start. Shop. No. Wait, you gotta kill it. Wait, how do I jump up there? This box was how. My first time climbing this ladder, I kind of got stuck for a little. Yo, <laughs> he's actually trying it for the first time. Oh. oh. That's all of us uh, climbing a ladder for the first time. Top point one percent. I do need to specify that these are most likely not good CSGO players. Also, you'll see me turn away from all the nades because I don't know which one is which. I also had this weird little glitch when I was spawning. I would. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Man! Bro! <laughs> this game has been around since 2013. How is this still happening, bro? <laughs> what the hell? Later. I'm flying! Oh no. This is a bad look. But yeah, I kept turning Jacob, away. Am I the only one that always keeps the glitch to look over the walls? And then after I see a guy, then I crouch or jump? Nades. I still ah. don't know if there's a difference with the sound. Always. Clutch the bomb. I don't give a f For f sake. You'll also see that I struggled with my cross replacement because I don't know how the maps are. Yeah, fair. It's me on any other map than Vertigo. This round, I accidentally bought a weapon, and yeah, well, you can't sell in CSGO. Wait, how do I sell this chat? How do I sell this? Oh, oh wait, okay, though. Right Go be. In the long, you can sell, huh? CS2, it's coming, eh? I literally just clear that. And oh, I forgot to mention this at the start of the video, but this is a short match. And if you're wondering how I decided what I wanted to buy, I was actually just looking for the coolest names. Yeah, okay, th this was a mistake. It's actually playing good, though. I'll be honest, I wasn't satisfied with my performance the first game, so I decided to go again on the same map, because now that I would know it a little bit better, it would be a lot easier. Surely. And I gotta say, there's nothing more unsatisfying than taking damage from grenades in CSGO. Why? Do they do a lot more damage in Valorant, or...? Since I was spraying so much these games, I decided to try to tap fire. Love things he scream. Also, is that just me or why does everybody in CSGO have a microwave for a microphone? Go, <laughs> go. Also, I gotta say this AVP skin is kind of insane. On the topic of yeah. skins, I think CSGO is doing a lot better than Valorant. Yeah. The only thing that I heard is that CSGO skins can have different patterns on them. And also- Oh! That's the reverse scar pattern, pattern like 670. Ridiculous.
so that you can get them with different qualities and you can add stickers on them. Which yeah, I mean and you is can get them in Star Trek. Pretty cool that you could get a really unique skin. I also found out that CSGO has a replay system, which is something Valor still doesn't have. It's actually really cool to be able to see the enemy's point of views. Valor doesn't have it. It is what it is. You want to watch a replay? Do that. Check the enemy's But POV. otherwise, yeah, the microwave microphones are literally in every game. For plants, uh, for shot. <laughs> That's the classic CS combat. So yeah, the skill does transfer from Valorant to CSGO, and the game is actually pretty fun. Anywho, I hope you liked the video, and that's all for me, CS. I enjoyed that chat. Top 0.1% Valorant player tries CSGO, honest opinion. That was nice, that was a Hi, fair my name's review. Cyril, and I'm a part of the top zero. I enjoyed that a lot. Hey, boys, leave him a uh, follow. I mean, hey, I guess now he's only uploading Valorant from now on, but that was a nice video. Leave the video a like.